Yo, this is strong as fuck. Yeah. And it's just one. It is good. Yeah. Cheers for me. Yeah. Cheers, fellas. Cheers, 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 cheers. 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 Midget cheers, cheers. 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 Yes, sir. Cancel. Don't beat it. Look at it in the mirror. Kiss my face. I'm too classy. Yes, sir. Don't call another dog. I'm too slime. She ain't wanna eat it on the first day. It's her arm. Alright. Her arm. Give, give a hand of applause to the people in here. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. We got my cousin Kevin. Oh, straight from Philly. Yeah. Uh, for the week. Uh, all right. Got my right hand Blex right here. B Lex. Blex, aka Blex, aka Alex. My brother right here, Justin. Yer. And the boy B right here. Yes, sir. You know, we usually have like talks. And it's always like these really great, deep. Um sometimes it can be like silly. Someone can think they're dumb, but like I feel like they always have like a, a message. Whether it's like good or funny or irrelevant to anything like i feel like it's always just a good vibe too like and i feel like that's what it is like i feel like all of us like have a good vibe so that's why i feel like like me and kevin can sit down and we can have the same talk i can have with me and Blex or me and justin kind of and it's very true be, you know yeah. <laughs> 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 how why are you laughing man no. it's funny we'll be saying some dumb shit now we do be saying some dumb shit <laughs> Some dumb funny shit though. Me and he stripped it wrong. Me and Jerez, yeah. me and Jerez had a like me. <laughs> me and Jerez had a conversation about I asked I had asked them if because I know there's people out there that settle because they've been through so much like um He's literally well, shaking like right now, like bro. Cold. bro there's a blanket in the back. Yeah, no, get the blanket. It's a clean blanket. It's not, it's not a fuck blanket. It's okay, I'm Just. Okay. Bro, you're I'm literally warm up. I'm you're literally warm up. Shaking. Cause you think you think probably your since your blanket is a fuck blanket. <laughs> no, no, my blanket is not a fuck blanket. My arm. I don't even know what that is. Alex, uh, come on, bro. Like, like I never used one like that. Justin, bro, you don't know what that is. <laughs> so what? What right. the fuck you trying to say? No. Then you're dating a baddie. Then you guys, there's a baddie. She's a ten. So pretend. <laughs> 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 mom. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so pretend she's a baddie, but she doesn't. She doesn't. Well, pretend she's okay. She's a baddie, and you've communicated with her how you wish she could do this is better, but she doesn't. So you're kind of like fulfilled, but not, not fulfilled. Yeah. Then you whatever. You find somebody that treats you literally the the way you wish the ten treated you. And she makes you feel special, mm -hmm. but when it comes to like intimacy, you're like you feel weird. Like mm -hmm. you're not it's not intimate in a sense. But you're still doing it. And then you start feeling like, what am I doing? What do you do? Like it was so weird because I was talking to this today with Rami today. Yeah. And I was telling him about like a past thing that yeah. I had and it was basically literally so weird how you said it. But the girl just, I told her, I communicated, but she just couldn't do it. She just couldn't do the job. Yeah. She, you know, she okay, looked good yeah. and everything, but at the end of the day, like, the soul, what really matters, was ugly. Yeah. And it took me a while to figure out that it wasn't, <clears throat> you could, you. I mean, you could have it all, but if, because ultimately it looks fake, right? But... I was talking to him about it that it just it didn't work out. Yeah. Because it was it was not something I wanted. Even though that person did look good or whatnot. Why are you laughing? <laughs> what's <laughs> funny? Wait, hold on, what's funny? I was just fucking done because it was a stupid ass fucking drink, bro. <laughs> what is Fuck it? bro. Oh, like, and what was it? My bad, I was and like trying. and like I had wished I, I had wished that this person would treat me the way that I deserve to be treated, how I treated her, right? So you were already in that situation? I was already in the situation. And it's like now I have someone that I am. So that's why I'm saying I can and can't enter because now I am with someone that I am, you know, deeply attracted to and still treats me amazing. Like okay. how I wanted the first person to treat me. But that's her loss. So there's you know? hope. There's hope, guys. There's hope. Yeah, exactly. And in the Bible, it, it does say that. Let's that clap it up for Blex. To not. Yeah. Woo! Yeah.
Uh, thank you guys for watching. <laughs> That's but a good one. That's a good that is, So you had a good answer yeah. because it input. Yeah. Very but good, I know people good. sometimes can be in, in different situations. I'm saying like because I've heard of people that settle, oh I've been like going through I've gone through this, 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 whether it's girl or boy. I've heard both sides and like I just can't find the one, I can't find the one. So they end up settling for something that they're not it's not like matching everything that they ask for in a sense. It's not mm -hmm. like so they're like, I mean, I'm okay. They're like, I'm okay with this. Yeah. So, it, it's, so the so thing is, is it my, sorry. No, you're good. Go ahead, bro. So the thing is, is like, I agree with Alex. All right, Alex. so make sure you guys cancel Kevin. All right. <laughs> for interrupting me, go ahead. So the thing is, I agree with Alex, but sometimes people are like, their way of showing intimacy. Intimacy. Uh, intimacy. Uh, I, like, I like where this is going. Intimacy. Yes, right. go ahead. You're going to have to cut that out. <laughs> no, it's not raw. Raw. raw in the flesh. They like, like the word raw. raw. Intimacy is like, it's just the way they do it. It's like they they can't, genuinely can't can't show it because like say someone that doesn't grow up like that get, getting all that love they don't know how to like show it like so, the so, love so, languages yes, are different yeah so sometimes it's like you have to adapt the way you you love that person that's cause, true like cause I said because like I said how that that they can't show that yeah that's true but then again like I also agree with what he said like I'd rather have someone like that treat will. me the way yeah treat me the way that I should be treated. I guess in that situation it could be like you communicate. You give it time, be patient, because obviously nobody's going to yeah, change from it. Yeah, and then, like, Very true. then you go on from there, I guess. My advice is is to find someone that treats you right. Because at the end of the day, looks do fade. Yeah, you're, you know, we're young right now. It's still a lot of time ahead, but... That's true. But, like, you... I know you have said before is, like, attractiveness is, like, almost the first step. Exactly. So, to, like, like, you're not just gonna, interest, you're you know? not just gonna talk to someone. And I guess it could be different because it could be like you met someone like it ends up being a coworker. Let's say, right? You have a coworker, <laughs> and they're just fucking like you love the way they are, the way they talk, and like just how they move, their personality, and everything about them. So that already attracts you to them. But they're, but then you're like, nah, maybe if she was this, or if he was this, I would, but I don't. I think that I mean, a lot of it has to do with like once you like if you are attracted to someone, you start you know dating them or right, seeing bro. them or whatever. But oh, you it, the, 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 laughing at me. <laughs> the true the true test is like living with them. Ooh. That is true. That's, That's another, huge yeah. as fuck. That's another thing I heard a lot of I've people heard about couples that. say is that. Cause you can be into someone, yeah. and like them, and then once you live with them, you're like, you fuck that them, shit. Yeah, think yeah, it's it's crazy. Crazy. Yeah. You know the oh, they're ice cube. Now, I, <laughs> no, I still hear them ice cube. Kinda. Yeah, right? It's because you're not even using it right now. Blanket. What time is the blanket? I'm a little chilly right now. Let's go. Ya te vamos a poner blanket. All right. <laughs> All right. And a blanket. Blanket. Everybody's in for Yeah, I guess so. I mean, you obviously chase someone because you think they're attractive, right? Mm -hmm. You're not going to go after an ugly chick mm -hmm. and be like, yo, I think this is the one. You know what I'm saying? That's like, tough because the 10 that like we would wish was like that isn't like that with us. But then later on, they learn and like they're like that with other people. True. Because like, mm -hmm. I've seen that. It's like a pose and it, 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 it could sound cliche, but it's like, oh, you were with somebody and then they weren't ready for something and then yeah. you guys end up breaking up and then you see them with the next person now they're suddenly ready for whatever you thought yeah. you you wanted them to be ready for. Mm -hmm. And it's like... A lot of times, I mean, people don't really approach tens like that. Yeah. That's true. Same, that is very true. Is Confidence like, is huge and so, not everyone has it. Yeah. Because of the same fact that they're like, oh, this person, like... Oh, they don't they really feel like they're capable. Yeah. They don't feel... Yeah, very true. Yeah. I'm a ten. <laughs> yes, sir. I love it. I think we're all 10. Yeah, you're a 10, <laughs> but your music on mute. How do you what? Define being successful. Mm. It's crazy because I feel like old me would have said, oh, with a business, with money. And I think now it's happiness. You're happy. In a sense. Because, I agree. I agree. Because. To a certain extent, I agree. Yeah. That's very true. Cause it's different for everybody. Like what you said, like mm -hmm. some people can define success as having like a lot of land, mm -hmm. having a lot of business. So I guess it's just, isn't it? Yeah, it's subjective. 
to each person. What are we talking about? Nah, because we can be talking about being successful when it comes to like money wise. No, it's being, what you yeah, define. Like your no, definition. Your okay. definition. Okay. Like so what do you de- okay. what do you define success as? Like no, you right so, now, yeah. raw, unfiltered. Well, actually, okay. So I'm gonna just add to that. I guess actual, genuine happiness, and I guess being able to care for your family. Because you could take care of your family and then I get... It's because it could be tricky because some people can still be successful and not happy. But that's not the question. Yeah, the question, the question is, question is what you... Well, that's, well, that's mine. Okay, I guess. What's yours? Taking care, being able to take care of my people and being happy. What are you, Alex? That to me is success. You don't want me to be like, honest, 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 honest? Yeah. No, I want you to lie. <laughs> so recently, like... Me... As being successful is definitely being more closer to God. Very true. And that is something that, like, it, it right away popped into my head, like, yeah, my yeah. relationship with God. That's true. I should have said that. I'm sorry, man. No, it, no, it's <laughs> No, because okay. it's yeah. true because it's like I knew that, but I didn't think about it in the moment. Mm-hmm. And when you asked that, I was like, wow, like, it's crazy how, how far I've come yeah. to think of, like, money as the ultimate success and cars. and Oh, that's another thing. Like, Show me your shirt. Oh yeah, I don't know if you guys can see it. Says I like boys. <laughs> <laughs> All right, right. No, I says Jesus King. Oh. Jesus King, and and like as of recently, like I've been going through some things. Like, oh, that was so cute. <laughs> Sorry. Nah. Hey, I'm a minor, by the way. Really? <laughs> he just offered me liquor. <laughs> right. Wait. Oh, right. What? Liquor or liquor? Alright. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, bro, what, what the, the fuck? fuck? What do you think? Hey, I'm thirsty. Oh, he hasn't finished. <laughs> yeah, well, that's all I was going to say is that no, that's bad it's ass. crazy how far I've come to think that, like, so, like, me being successful was, like, having a fast car, a loud car, uh, uh you know, like, potentially and having a. He's passing his Ottoman. Whoa, 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 <laughs> He would make sounds. Like, I, I, like, bro, I thought I was on, I thought I would, so this is crazy, so, whenever I got my car, I You never let him drive your Mustang. That too, yeah. Like, so whenever I had got my car, like, my dream car, which was, uh, it was a Mustang GT 2014, and, like, I thought that was gonna bring me, like, happiness, right? And success, like, I thought that was, like, success to me was, like, having that. I put my mind to it, I got it, and... It, I felt empty like I felt I didn't feel fulfilled or successful it's not what you expected exactly and now thinking of where I was then and now it's like I've grown so much okay, to, so, to know so this is this is kind that. of a weird question Chugging, please like what I'm about to ask because it's like I hear that like your story and mm-hmm. I think did he have to go through that to know that yes and then I think so and then sometimes I'm like I didn't go through oh, nothing shit. I didn't oh, go through nothing like that like I didn't go through a situation where I had to like, I realized it, I just realized it without having a situation. So yeah, sometimes I'm, I'm like, damn, like, I get scared of maybe not realizing something because then I'm like, damn, like, it took something's going to happen to me and it's going to make me realize something I didn't even, like, in a sense, even think of realizing. Mm-hmm. Does that make sense? Yeah, it does. So sometimes I'm like, fuck, like, what it's I just like, You know what I'm saying? I, I, I could see it as, like, God being gentle with you in a sense. Have mercy, mercy have on mercy you. On yes, me, yeah. yes, exactly. Have mercy on me. Yeah. You can put that in the song right now. Um, or I can put that in the song right you, now. I mean, you can put that in the video right now. But. The <laughs> mentals are yeah. strong, dog. Definitely have grown right. a lot bro. from what I bro. deem success sure not to be. Day, this one. I'm listening, bro. Really? <laughs> and it's something I hope you guys, you know, discover as well that in life, all you need really is God to be successful. God first. God first, amen. Always, Brian. Yeah, that was getting closer to Jesus. Nah, for real, Brian. I, love that, I love that, Brian. For real, it's true. That I went through. Very true. And I know Kevin's aspiring to do that, and you know, God bless his endeavors, his plans, his. I really hope you become a pro wrestler, think, brother. A pro what? A wrestler. All right. I think that putting God first, like everything falls into place. And that's Kevin. damn God. I'm so sorry that I didn't. That's what I was leading to. Thank you, Brian. Is. Kevin, if you truly, truly do aspire to be that brother, you need to keep God first. Yeah. And you need to keep pushing, brother, because it is possible. Because in our reality, though, you are supposed to chase your purpose. You are supposed I mean, to I've always put him first. Like, I've it's always, your calling, yeah. I've always it's been your, pretty religious. Chase your purpose. Yeah. Because, you know, they're pretty religious. We all do have they're a purpose. Oh, bro, something I heard today, I saw in a post, and it's very true. 
Some people call themselves Christians, but their lifestyle does not match their title. True. Almost like a double. Uh, <laughs> no, dead ass. Think about it. Think about it. <laughs> uh, they live in, they, they're living like a double life. Yes, it almost. is. Yeah, it's like, because. And that is true. I'm you, not. You no, added me? No, no, I'm just saying. Oh that was the video. That was in the video said, like, it was a guy saying, talking about Christians. Oh, I'm Christian, I'm Christian, this. But, oh, but their actions, word. their actions don't meet. Their title. Yeah, yeah. I mean, like something about Catholics. So. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Kind of like being an imposter. Yeah, I'm, I'm in Among you're Us. You're still Christian. You're Catholic. Kevin. Same thing. <laughs> no, yeah, yeah, no. Same. It, is. yeah. it isn't. It isn't. But you know, Jesus is the main focus. Jesus. Yeah. What about this? <laughs> I think. For oh, real, for real, though, like. I think the after our God first, you know what I'm saying? After you put him, I think success is like finding your true purpose. Like leaving a mark before success you leave. Is, yeah. That like, is true. Like changing the future for the next Was that generation. the same thing as like someone asking you, are you fulfilled with the life you lived since like since you woke up this morning? And you can be like, with everybody that you've talked to, have you impacted their life in the in the best way possible? Yeah, would you be like happy? Nah, yeah. walking out. I would. Wait, wait. Do that again. Uh, say that again. The morning part. Wake up. Yeah. Yeah. Like, like say if you. All right. I'm walking right, out. Bro is doing it by himself. It's because disconnected. Yeah. Guy was saying because like what he said. Okay, like find your purpose or like, and all. And I'm like it's like the same thing. But it's like the same thing if someone asks you like, if you died today, would you be happy with the life you lived? And some one of the answers that I heard is like yeah. The guy said, yeah, like I would be because of everybody that I've talked to, I've impacted in a great way. I have a follow-up question to that. What is it, brother? If I give you guys a million dollars. I'm taking it. Will you be happy? Nah. nah. You won't be happy? With a million dollars, be, no. I'd be happy as fuck. Yeah. The fuck? Oh, with a million? I'm going to be crying. I'd be crying. Yeah. You're going to wipe me his tears with the millions, with the hundreds. All right, what, what's, amount of money, <laughs> what's an amount of money that will make you happy? Any number. First number that pops in your head right now. Probably like six mil. Okay. Six, six mil. mil. To be yeah. honest, a hundred bands. Okay. Okay, so. Oh, we ten bands. So, so if I give I'll you. I'll flip that. No, that's awesome. good. Yeah, yeah, good. So if I give you a hundred bands. Shh. That's the lowest number. I'm saying I open it. a little business. No, that's what it will be. Okay, so it will make you happy, right? Yeah. A small little Like right now, I'll give you a mil. You're happy. You're happy as fuck. Fuck yeah. Fuck yeah. Yeah, I'm happy as fuck. 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 Yeah, I'm Exactly. 100. So the next day, you wake up happy as fuck. You're still like, oh, what the fuck? I was giving you a million dollars, right? I give you six million dollars. You're gonna next? be happy as fuck, right? Yeah. I give you ten million dollars. You gonna be lit? Yeah. I'll probably give some right. money. I will yeah. give some money. Yeah. You'll be, be lit. lit. You're Most lit. Definitely. You'll be happy as fuck. Obviously, yeah. eventually you'll be like, you'll get used to it, but you'll be happy. All right. So you wake up happy as fuck, correct? Hell yeah. All right. Correct. So, I ask you, I'll give you $50 million, but you can't wake what up tomorrow. Want? What are you going to choose? Ask me fucking shades. I have 50 mil in my hand, and I say, but you can't wake up tomorrow. What are you guys going to choose? I'll be happy for a day. I ain't waking up tomorrow. For real? <laughs> I'll be like, I'm 50 mil. What about you, Prince Royce? <laughs> <laughs> nah, 50, 50 mil, but you can't, or you, or you rather wake up tomorrow. I haven't lived, I haven't lived long enough. <clears throat> I haven't lived long enough. That's, that's a lot of cut haircuts. I'm, and 10 million is still fine, to be honest. Yeah. 10 million? Should I be fine with 100 bands? Yeah, facts. Shout so out. my number, my number would be like, if, so like if you were to give me, it doesn't have, it doesn't have to be 50 mil, right? It could be, um, Wait, maybe even, even one mil. I said I haven't lived long enough, so I'm going to just take the 10 million. You don't want the 50. But you can't wake up tomorrow. He's young. But yeah. you can't wake up tomorrow. No, wait, because you offered no, the 10 you said, million before. No, no, listen, no, wait, listen. You let said, me repeat. No, let me, let me. This is how I said it. 50 million, but you can't wake up tomorrow. Exactly. I'm not taking the 50. Okay, so you rather have your life, right? Yeah. 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 That's what you choose? Exa yeah, exactly. What do you do? Same thing. Bro? Yeah. I'm have my life. What if I throw in a bag of takis? <laughs> oh, my God. I'm definitely wrong. What if I, what if I throw in a bag of dinamitas? Dinamitas is <laughs> Mm -hmm. Alright, so the whole point of this is like, obviously, like, why don't you wake up every day thinking you had a million dollars the day before, right? Why do we wake up? I, I don't even think about finances like that when I wake because up. Because of the no. the way this system is structured. You're not answering the question. No, 
Because you can wake up with the mentality of happiness and like, uh, like nothing's gonna stop me from being happy in a sense because, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, let's say I didn't give you the million dollars. Tomorrow, a guy comes out, you're like, what the fuck, bitch? Who's, like, you know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, yeah. Wouldn't you? But the thing is, is, the reason why we have this mentality is because of the way the system is. Like, we literally have to live. Ah, yes and no, though. Paycheck. To this paycheck. perspective. I mean, because some people can be happy like that. Some people are having this perspective. Because, they, I mean, there's people who are very wealthy and are miserable. Exactly. Look at, in the same concept, though. Like, Prince Royce was about to say something. What did you say? Look in Mexico. Like, people don't be having shit like that, but they still be the happy. They are happy. Mm. They are happy. True. It, it just basically what his question or what he's trying to get across is that. Why wouldn't you wake up feeling blessed already yeah. and grateful when when you were given the option to have 50 million, right? Yeah. But you're going to turn that down for yeah. your life because it's already obviously more valuable than the 50 mil. So exactly. why not act like... Why not so actually, why not act like you are... Like basically the, the 50 mil is nothing compared to your life. Yeah. So you waking up the next day is, is a blessing in itself and is worth more than 50 mil. That's true. And you can ask that with anyone. Any billionaire that's like... 80 years old, 90 years old, they said, I'd give up all this money in order to be 18 again. Why? Because time on this earth is so much more valuable yeah, than monetary sure. value. Sure. And, and, that, Dang, and that's scary. But that's the only thing you can't buy. You can never yeah, buy your buy time, time back. That's why, right? bro, I'm not taking the money. I'd rather just live the rest of my life. Yes. Well, that's why I said no to the one million. What a pinche like, Fortnite. Nah, I don't FIFA. 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 I mean, yeah, I wouldn't give up my that's life for money, but money wouldn't make Brian's it like, I'll die champ of but the sometimes champs. but sometimes people have the mentality to wake up and not be grateful for their life and they chase the money that they wouldn't trade in order to to not wake up the next day you know because if you think about it like i mean i, I agree with that though but like when you're not worried about how are you gonna pay your bill or like just having that sense of, oh, I have to wake up and go to work. I have to go to, to get money, to pay my bills, to do this, to, mm-hmm. to actually get ahead in life. You know what I'm saying? When you actually have a foot in the door, you already have structure. Like, because, you know, we came over here to this country. Put a pinch of USA, like. But you got to think about it. You're first generation. You really, when you don't have to worry about how, like, you know, you're going to pay your bills or the next meal is going to come. You can actually find a true purpose. You know what I'm yeah. saying? But that was that's what I was saying. Like I wouldn't take the one million no, because some people like like yeah. the grind. Like yeah. I like grinding out my days yeah. and like that's yeah. my happiness. You that's know? They say that yes. yeah. they say that like some people that become successful sometimes miss the days of struggle. I was just about because to say it's that, a, yeah. they always and they they all say this that yeah. it's about the journey. Yeah. yeah, it's not about the end, but it's about the journey. If if you could give advice to your 17 year old self again, what would it be? That's endless, but I would be like. But no, really. <laughs> oh, shit, bro, Bram is married. <laughs> <laughs> shout, out Betsy, shout out Betsy, the wife. I was just kidding, babe. <laughs> no, he's not. Uh, no, I need to take a piss. The information I know now? Yeah. Mm-hmm. You're closer to God. Amen. Invest. Amen. No, save my money because with the money I had back then, I couldn't invest. Well, I guess I could, yeah, but could've. save my money. I think those two hit it right on the nail. Those mm. two, really. So I didn't save my money, yeah. I have a follow-up that, question. That's what I was going to say. Is, yeah? is, what do you say? Me? Since you're 40. LA. <laughs> 2001. 30, you guys, he's 30. 2001. You graduated what? He's still young. You graduated in 1998, right? still young, but. I'm already. I'm tired right I'm tired. now. <laughs> no, what would I tell myself? Social security money. <laughs> I don't even know. Mm-hmm. It's cool. What did you tell yourself last year? Maybe, you know what? Last year. <laughs> I don't think I'd tell myself anything because I feel like I was already finding God around that time. Like, always going to church and, like, I, I don't know, I feel like everything happened how I was supposed to. That's cool. Respectable. Like that. I've definitely been in a different mindset now than Fuck before, yeah. bro. Like, Same. Maybe I'd drink less. That and, <laughs> yeah, definitely drink less. Drink less. Closer to God. And I, low key move. Bro, I would have yeah. invested. Low key, like, low key, low key, like, moved. Like, left town after high school. Yeah. Actually, yeah. Like, get out of this town. I tried to. Yeah. I can see that. Bro, oh, yeah, you went to Cali for two years, right? <laughs> 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 I'm dead. 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 I'm dead.
So you got a show. I know, my shit was crazy. <laughs> that is sad, that is sad, dude. My mom, all right. My mom, I was with my little flip phone asking me where hey, was you I. You would open it like this. Yeah. Come on, ma. Shall I want it? Come on. Hit it one, three times to hit the C. To <laughs> Yo, bro, crazy times, crazy times. That's actually a good question, Justin, because you could use that advice now. That's yeah. why I asked. What would, what would you tell your 17 year old self? In the future. I, that makes no sense. <laughs> 17, <laughs> bro. I thought it was 16. You're 17. Yeah, it, my thing would be like... It's your fucking birthday. birthday. 18 in November. Ain't that long. Heard him. Birthday bash. Hey. But main thing would be getting closer to God and, and learning how to invest early. Because all it takes is you to start earlier to have Ooh, exponentially I more started, growth in your I would have started money. YouTube. Back then. But check this out though. Let me check it out. Pursue your dreams. Hey, send me the link so I can check it out. <laughs> All right, <babe. laughs> Back then, how would you have the resources to invest? Because at that time, there really wasn't like that's, that's why save your money. Apps. Save your money, but then with the knowledge you know now, you'd be like, okay, maybe like 2019, 2018. No, you, it would have still. No, no. Yeah, no, there yeah, was still no, opportunity. Yeah, no, there's not, there's no, the internet's been It's just it wasn't that known, though. No, it wasn't but, that popular in the but, the, but the accessibility to to apps and to have accounts. Like, so, so I'm going to say something. It, it was, was definitely. There. With like Robin and all that? It, yeah, so it's definitely easier now. It was to more invest. of a Wall Street thing. It's, yeah, no, it's definitely. E no, it, it's not even that. It's definitely easier now to invest mm -hmm. because of zero commissions that Robinhood introduced. Mm -hmm. Then every other brokerage started introducing zero zero commission um, based investing. So back then, yeah. when you were to put in a trade, like investing, which yeah. is you, you would put in a trade, you would have to pay so upwards okay. to like. So early, early was like 60 bucks, 40 bucks, you know, 30 bucks per trade. Now mm -hmm. it's zero bucks, so you have really no excuse now. Not to. Exactly. What the fuck? Yeah, back then, uh, and then it started. It, so it started at 60, bye. 40, Peace. 20, then 10, then 5. Then it ended. Robinhood came out with zero commission trading, so that really made it so much more easier. Yeah, yeah. But books were always accessible. You want to invest? Internet's always accessible. Hit Blex at cool. Instagram at Blex dot underscore three times. I love it. Yeah, tap in. I'll, I'll teach you all about dividends. His insurance will be right here. Facts. Right there. <laughs> I'll right. put you on some game. Full Auto on. 11. <laughs> on Instagram. Right Chris Johnson. Definitely learned a lot from them. But Kevin's can be right here. <laughs> Ozzy right here. Uh, what do you think about therapy? I think it's very, very beneficial. Powerful. Beneficial, but just like everything else. Like well, what do you, specifically do you think about that's it? That's where I'm going, brother. Hear, hear me out. Just like everything else, like some things work for people, some things don't. Right. So I think. And it could be hard for some people to. Some people aren't good at talking and communicating, so you show up to someone you don't know. Preach. Mm -hmm. Which Facts. that can be a good thing yeah. because then Factual. that can be very true, or that can be very easy and hard. It could be easy because you're like, they don't know me. What are they gonna? As, as in opposing, like, you might tell your therapist something you can't tell me because you think I'm going to judge you. Mm -hmm. Because I know you. It's and so you tell your, so you <clears throat> go to a therapist and you're communicating, you're like, they don't know me, what are they going to, you know what I'm saying? So sometimes it could be better. But, I mean, I've never been to therapy. But that's how I think about it. I'm like, some things work for people, some things don't. But I wouldn't mm -hmm. kill to hurt. They wouldn't kill to try it. Mm -hmm. Therapy is amazing. I think everybody should get it. Mm -hmm. Even if you're... Like living your best life and everything's going right. No, oh, of course. Yeah. Some yeah. things or some feelings are just unexplainable that people that are in that profession can help you further those like yeah, explanations sure. and all that. Because I feel like the biggest stigma that's around therapy is you go to therapy, something's wrong with you. You're mental. You're on yeah. the spectrum. Like you need help. There's a stigma behind. It. <laughs> <laughs> I'm on the spectrum. Man, he, yes. said, he always says he's on the spectrum. Okay, so Brian in the comments. So I heard something that I don't even know if it's true or not. <laughs> Someone's here said it that we're all on the spectrum. But Brian, some Brian, Brian said that. that's yeah. something Brian would yeah. say. He's, he always said that to me. Yeah, that yeah, that, yeah. Like I don't Take know if that's true or not. I don't know. Think about it, brother. But I saw you on the spec. All right. <laughs> but my best therapist, God, God. and you know why? Because 
And you know why? Because Soon. because he will never judge you. And and yes, All therapy right. is the first step to getting help, of course. And and if anyone needs therapy, yeah, it doesn't have to be the first step. Like it can be God, to some people, right? Yeah, God some can people be the don't believe step. in God. Though. Like oh, go true. to your prayer closet, meaning Damn. like your own room. I, so that's my experience. My experience has been I've never been to a therapist, so I can't speak on like how well it's done for me. It's but powerful. I think it's in the sense of like, like for instance, like people that suffer from like anxiety. Mm -hmm. Like one of the main reasons of like that triggers anxiety is not being able to get your thought out. So that's why a lot of people yeah. they start like treatment plans in the sense of like writing down your thoughts or or talking to someone about it. So that way, because anxiety, it it's like a part of overthinking too much something that you mm -hmm. shouldn't be overthinking mm -hmm. and you can't stop because that's just the way your mind works it's almost like you become obsessive with it so just therapy just helps you really like, once you talk about like, it you get it out, out in the yeah. open and yeah you know what i'm saying of course god is first in everything mm -hmm. but i think that therapists just have the key to like guess, well like yeah. the profession you yeah. know like yeah. the, they, they know how to like having you break down un your mind. untangle those habits yeah. and like really like fix them yeah because mm -hmm. that shit that shit has helped me like, you know yeah 100 percent. and like, it can't 100%, 100%. always be you always have to go to therapy you know you could be suffering from a loss from a family member yeah. or like work and just too much shit piles up and you might just need it for that run that's and the problem you, and we you let might shit be pile up you and just I, don't let it go i just think it's like it's so sad that people like our age think like Going to therapy is such a yeah. stupid like thing. You're like, yeah, you're like you're crazy. Yeah. And it's like, bro. <laughs> <laughs> All right, bro. I, I need, All right, All right cancel. <laughs> that was I funny as well. There's no way that's my brother. <laughs> I need <bro>. therapy. <laughs> I'm tired. <laughs> this means you're tired. All right. Let me make you Not really, brother. Well, well. For real? Mm. Yeah. I better me. Ayman was hey, at a 10 yeah, and they went Jordan, back to Jordan a 2. Jordan Forrest Tuesday? Hey! Jordan Forrest Tuesday? Deleting my account. Damn, I got you. Nope. <laughs> really? I love how my team sticks with me because I was very excited for Waffle House. I got you in report. That's not your team. You know, I know. know. <laughs> hey, all I'm, Psych, bitch. all I'm saying is you said yeah. Applause to the first card dog. Oh, guys, make sure you guys subscribe. Make sure you guys like. Leave any comments if you choose, whatever. Um, there are going to be more videos. Stay tuned for the next guest. Peace.